Well, time to climb the tower. Ah, oh, man. Hope this doesn't go badly. Actually, I don't see how it could go badly, because the trainers in here really aren't a threat to us. Um, not even the bird user, because, let's face it, we got a ton of body slams saved up. Like, even the person with Noctal probably ain't gonna stop us. Be like, oh, I got myself a defensive Noctal! I'm like, but it doesn't have good moves for stall anyway. I'm like, but it's got decent defenses, I think. I'm like, ugh. Noctile's pretty mad for a Pokemon. Makes sense, I mean, it's an early bird. Most early bird Pokemon aren't that great, unfortunately. Like, I wish you were better, Noctile. That's why it took me so long to ever even use you. Like, I did flying rounds, and like, there's always a better option. Like, even if I want someone to provide sleep on the team, there's better options like Butterfree. Like... Because what's, what's Noctile going to do? Like, oh, I'm going to use Hypnosis. I'm like, but that's not that accurate. Why don't you have a better sleep move? Because I'm a bird. We don't get better sleep moves. Not in this, Jane. I'm like, gosh darn it, you know. Like, I need that Hypnosis. Well, let's see. Oh, Preston sounded like Growlithe, did he? Well, just gonna body slam it. I mean, let's face it, Mud Slap's only good for Magnemite. Basically. I, I need something better to deal with that, uh, Haunter later on down the road. I suppose Razor Leaf's a good option, though. We'd have to be so overleveled to kill it, you know. It'd be crazy. But then again, by the time we see it again, maybe we will be that overleveled. Though I suppose I could have tried it, uh on it sooner and tried getting lucky for a critical hit, right? Yeah, man. Live and learn. It's hard to optimize some of these runs, man. Sometimes you just need practice. And I really don't need swagger, so it's fine. Well, if you want to get her back so badly, you need to go down the hole. Be like, ball went down the hole, you need to go down hole. But we'll go down hole. Yeah, I'm making reference to uh, Tiny Toons. It's been a while since I've watched one of those episodes. A really, really long time. I remember getting decently far into a video game they had, uh, what was on the Sega Genesis or something, I want to say. But, I never beat it. Like, I got to, like, some cave-like area and just lost steam for it. Like, this platformer is getting too difficult for my taste. So I'm giving up and moving on to something else. You know, that's more enjoyable for me, because sometimes I just do not enjoy platformers. And I don't want that item anyway. Did it, now. Nah well, yeah, there is, but that's across the sea, man. Consider it done, because I have nothing better to do with my time. Plus, I need that gym badge, so, uh, I gotta help. I got no other way to do this. Though, I'm probably gonna wish I had another paralyzed cure berry. Well, we can get fly later and go fly off to an area where we can go grab it, right? Sweet, a rare candy. Now then. Oh, it's Dennis. Hi, Dennis. We're leaving now. Well, yeah, that's not a big deal whatsoever. If I want to get swagger, I'd probably have to come up the other way, wouldn't I? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we can always come back and get Swagger later if I feel I absolutely need it, you know? It's not how long it's like, I guess we can combine this with the swim to Cinewood. Okay. Oh yeah, we got the battle area over here. Huh. Yeah, I know it is. Okay, that's all you gotta say. 
I want to try and avoid people over here. Damn it, I got too close. How about no? I'm swimming on a freaking polywag. I don't want to battle. And what on earth does my uh, dinosaur stand on, you know, while it's battling in the middle of the ocean anyway? Like, like, uh, are we also just both standing, you know, on the polywag somehow, on like our tippy toes somehow? Like, how do fights on the water like this work if you don't have a water Pokemon? Like, like, can McGaim swim and still attack at the same time? Or are we standing on these nearby rocks? At least I assume they're rocks. And not the rocks pirates. But actual rocks. Oh, it's a tentacle. Well, unless it's, uh, got, you know, uh, shiny status, I don't care about your tentacle. You're a good experience, but, uh, I really don't want to fight you right now. Now, if it's a tentacruel, I might have to take a shot at it. Oh, it's... man time? Um... Nope, not interested. I love how it's got a Remoraid on its, on its wing, though. That Pokemon you basically forget about. Because, you know, it's super late in the game and in the middle of nowhere. I think you need, like, a Super Rod to catch it, so you can't even get, like, the post-game. Like, like, why? Why is this Pokemon locked away? Like, it shouldn't be. It should be easy to catch. I mean, Octillery ain't that good. But I suppose it does get a lot of coverage in, a uh, Chen, uh, gosh darn it. Oh, does it now? I know it's fine. I need to go help the Lighthouse Pokemon. Yes, yeah, the secret potion. Which is still annoying to grab for me. I'm like, I don't want to stop there. Oh yeah, we need to grab this Shuckle. That way we can move the rocks, man. I don't know why you consider Shuckle your prize Pokemon, though. Not like... It has terrible offense. It has to be a defensive troll. Ugh. Well, next time we'll uh, deal with the gym, you know? Until then, see ya.